Ladies and gentlemen, if you have ever wondered what does a $7.6 million house in St. George, Utah looks like, today's your lucky chance because we're going to do exactly that. We're going to take you on a tour of St. George area parade of homes, home number two, that is located in Stone Cliff. It is 8,000 square feet, has a 10 car garage, and I'm sure it will be absolutely mind-blowing so let's go check it out all i can tell you is this location is absolutely breathtaking the frontage of this property is so wide that even a wide angle lens cannot capture it all it just literally continues for like half of this block right is it even a half of this block there's not even a street anymore it like takes up half of this street as you turn in here this home is for sale so keep that in mind we will post a link to the full mls listing in the description below shout out to the listing agent we'll credit it in the titles without further ado let's go check it out as you can see, you have two of the bays right here. Was I tripping about the size? Because that's all connected, right? Yeah, yeah, I was right. I wasn't wasn't giving you guys false information. So you have a owner's garage right here and then an additional garage out in the guest quarters. So to the right, that's guest suites or what, what do we have to our right? Check this out. It is mind blowing. Look at how many can lights it has. There's can lights literally every four feet across the entire ceiling. Let's go explore the guest suites. There's a guest bath that's also an ensuite for this bed. So let's go. So this is your, again, just like we saw in the home right before this, this is a little hangout area, a pool suite, whatever you want to call it. It's not an actual like a formal bedroom. Let's go back out and pop into this. Um, I was a wrong, it wasn't, it wasn't an ensuite. Or if you want to go this way first, let's go through this way. Then we'll walk back in through that bath. There's table that is conveniently right right off the pool so you can either either pool or pool you know which pool do you want yeah and that's the ensuite or the pool suite it's not really an ensuite i'm really glad that they didn't block off access to the backyard of this home so you actually walk out here and appreciate the reason why this home is eight million dollars well there's many reasons sorry 6.5 million dollars right yes yeah so seven six Part of it is this incredible view that could never be obstructed because you are at the top of the hill and everything that the sun touches is a part of your view. Massive area that's finished with these really cool looking pavers. You have this huge, huge black leather finish countertop for your outdoor kitchen that has a smoker, grill, refrigeration for your beverages, a small sink directly behind, pretty much anything you would want from an outdoor kitchen. This door opens to the front and let's just pop into this bath real quick. Can we check out this bath now? Sean was signaling me we gotta go this way because there's fewer people walking through. Good call. Okay, let's go to the back of the property first. And here we have two bedrooms. Let's pop into this one first. So it's a gas bed that has access to the back of the property if you wanna to go to the pool. And then it has its own ensuite. I absolutely love the vanities with the underlighting that lights up the floor nicely. European style toilet, a walk-in shower, and a beautiful closet with full built-ins. Also, these are solid core doors, which is a lot of people expect in entry-level builds. However, they don't usually happen until you get to this price point. Now keep in mind all of these doors are heavy, solid, solid core doors. This is your second guest suite that also has an ensuite. And this ensuite is a little bit different. I love that they decided to switch things up with different finishes for the countertops and the cabinets. And it also has, check out the shower. Yeah, that's kind of Canadian. I think that it doesn't dice up this space as much. Yeah, it's not shared with anybody. 
so you don't have any surprise visitors as you handle your business. So directly across, we have a laundry set that is available to like the entire gas wing of this home. You get a little bit of a view to the front of the property. This is a cool color combo, like a titanium finishes. Guest wing of the home could be also access to the garage. Hello friends, I hope that you're enjoying this video as much as we enjoyed making it. There's truly only one thing that we enjoy more than making these videos, and that's hearing from you. So if you're watching this video and you're thinking that St. George might be a great place for you, or maybe you're thinking about relocating somewhere else in Southern Utah, or the entire state of Utah for that matter, please reach out to us. We would absolutely love to be of service to you. Our contact information is in the description below this video, as well as a link to reserve a time in our calendar for an obligation-free meeting so we can chat and see if we could be a good fit for each other and if Southern Utah is right for you. Without further ado, let's get back to this video. And this is again a casita that has its own living room slash little kitchen with some built-ins. Closet across the hallway. You have a bath and this bath. It's one of my favorite details. I love showers with exterior windows. So as you Take your morning shower when you're perhaps visiting this property, if you're cool enough to be a guest. You get the views of uh, Washington Fields and Little Valley. <laughs> a little further to the, what is it, east? And this is a proper guest bed. So you have not one, but two points of entry right here with these floor to ceiling windows. Notice how these windows don't even have a baseboard around the perimeter. All of these details take a lot more from the builder. And I'm sure that all of the blinds are in a home automation so you can operate them in macros and have them roll up and down as you program them. So it's one last thing to do. So pop out into the guest garage real quick. Comfortably accommodate some Maybach GLE on some really substantial wheels. Look at these wheels. I'm sure it's fully optioned the way a Maybach should be. Now, there's so many points of entry. I'm sure it's all an automation. Yeah, so that's the bath that I've been wanting to check out. This is a hallway bath, gas bath that you can use for the guests for the front of the house. You have dual sinks, and it's also a very functional uh, guest bath because it sort of has this... Uh, room to accommodate if you're holding a big party you have look how many towel hooks you have so it kind of assumes that this shower could be used by all of your guests you could pop in rinse off and get back to hanging out socializing drinking a massive dual island right in the middle of this home we've got cabinets on both sides I love that the second island is not as big as it normally is because it really is a better way to use this space. And then you still have this rear prep area. And the same counter kind of continues past your quad ovens, the microwave. You have a second prep sink, the beverage chiller right on this back wall. And then you still have a neatly organized pantry it is right here. Plenty of room to hold the groceries. Let me check out the family room. I think this is the biggest fireplace that we've seen, like in terms of like an actual open fireplace. Look at these views. Love this modern looking light fixture and all the built-ins. You have another miniature sink right here. So this is, I don't know how many laundry rooms this house has, but this laundry, and they have uh, they have waterfall edge uh, with bookshelf match on every corner. 
of like most uh, most counter space in this house. It's wild. Have some pretty cool hanging racks right here. Those tuck away. And those are actually the drying racks. So this laundry is attached to the primary dressing, which we don't want us to enter through this door, but we'll, we'll loop around. Directly across from the laundry, you have this beautiful office that that desk utilizes all of the views. And look at the walls in here. Again, so much really cool texture. And right here we have a linen closet right before we enter the primary suite. Primary suite, of course, is the size of a small apartment, not a small apartment, <laughs> an average apartment with over the top luxury finishes. You have your own fireplace, beautiful views to the north with the slider. Your excuse for not doing cardio in this home would be the fact that there is no cardio equipment, but imagine you could have your cardio equipment, weights, whatever you want. As you wake up in the morning, peel your eyes open, you could literally exercise right here. And look how cool this space is. Look. Opens to the pool. You have your built-in uh, filtered water dispenser. Imagine there's a pass-through shower behind this wall in a really cool concrete looking tub. And all the, all the entryways are like 14 feet tall. Look at this. That's the other angle of that closet slash laundry room. All of the control elements for the hardware portion of it in every room. And I'm sure all the home automation can be controlled from your phone as well. So this side of the house has its own garage, right? I think, I think that this garage is accessed through this laundry room actually, because I haven't seen another entry point in here. Or it could be down this hallway. This house is definitely big enough to get lost in, and what a beautiful, what a beautiful place to be lost. You have the whole house vacuum cleaner with retractable hoses throughout this entire property. There's a really cool powder with this trough sink. Check out this mudroom. So you have your organization closet for probably shoes, your IT room in here. So this is the server that controls this whole home for all the home automation. And this is really neat to have right by your garage because if your kids are into any sports, all of their gear goes in there right next to the laundry room. And there we have another massive garage. So the other garage could accommodate for three cars. This is your remaining seven. Let's go this way real quick. Thank you for sticking around that far into this video. If you're seriously considering moving into this area, maybe you're thinking about building a custom home, we would absolutely love to be a resource to you. We have a great relationship with so many custom home builders in Southern Utah. We have a long list of general contractors that we would recommend. We have an even longer list of general contractors that we would recommend you avoid. If we could be of service to you, please feel free to reach out to us. Our contact information is in the description below this video. And there's a link for Calendarly so you could hop on our schedule for a quick call if that's the route you'd like to go. And as always, please give this video a thumbs up so the algorithm can suggest it to more people. And if you haven't already subscribed, please make sure to smash the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future videos. This is the man cave of all man caves. Little office place to meet friends or associates or anybody you conduct business with. A beautiful, tasteful Frenchie hat up there. We adore and appreciate all the bulldog decor that we could find in any of the homes. The backsplash is beautiful. Let's know what you guys think about this home. It truly speaks to me. And not just because I saw this Frenchie hat up there. Now I want one. I'm gonna set out on a mission to find a Frenchie hat like that to decorate my desk. Let's go this way.
Uh, have room to park a boat? Oh. Boat and RV. Let's know what you guys think. Drop us a comment below with anything you'd like to see more of. Any thoughts you have about this house? Would you live here? If if money was not an issue, would that be your that'd be your house that you would select? And if it is, let's find you something else. If you guys are interested in shopping anywhere in southern Utah or Utah, period, reach out to us. We'd love to be of service to you. See you in the next one.